All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Paint Sudeki. I don't know what part it is, but you probably do. <laughs> That's fine. Doesn't matter. No one's watching this anyway. I'm gonna watch it later though. I'm really just doing it for me. Um. Okay. Cool. So lots to do, but I think you'll recall last time we learned <laughs> we got somebody drunk. And we learned that they have a secret stash somewhere, and they said, hey, check it out. And they were bragging about how much money they had. So let's go see if we can find that. Now, I want to say his house, could it be this one? Nope. Um, it could be this one. It's the blue one, right? Don't forget. What is this supposed to be? Is your house, like, made of cheese or something? Or just, like, giant stucco? I don't know. Is this the guy? Yeah, all right. Let's go in there. So we got his key to the house. That's why we can go in there this time. Galax's house. Okay. Super cool. Let's have a little look around, shall we? All right. He's got a cool ceiling up there, a little uh, hatch. Now we can't go through there. Uh, I don't think we can go through this door either. Okay, there's at least two treasure chests. Yeah. Very, very interesting chair. You know, you don't usually see the pleats on the side of the chair, but that's fine. Uh, and the armrests there. Um, yeah, pretty standard place. He's got a cool skull there. He must be a hunter. What's on that table? Mmm, looks good. Is that bread and apples? Yeah, that's a good meal. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. So, let's check out the stash. And by check out, I mean take it. Finders keepers, I guess. In the bag. In the bag. 750 florins. That is nuts. Good deal. Two fifty. Wow. Okay, so we just got a thousand florins, and now we're talking big money. And I want to say too, that's not all that's in here. Um, where is his? Oh, an important looking scrap is in his locker too. Cooney's receipt. Okay. Well, so besides the cash, we got Cooney's receipt. Now that's interesting because you might remember, Cooney is dead. He was one of those gravestones we looked at. So, whatever his receipt is, that's pretty weird. Um, but let's maybe go and share that with this innkeeper and see if he might remember who old Cooney is. Yeah, hey, Salty. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'd like to cash in this receipt. I didn't know a receipt was something that you could cash in. Uh, maybe it's more like a voucher or something, I don't know. Hey, this is old Cooney's receipt. It's not strictly legal, mind you, but uh, I suppose he won't need this where he is. <laughs> Did you kill him? I don't know. Emerald Panacea. And another 200 florins. Okay. Hey, we're doing pretty darn good with florins now, so that's nice. I don't know how many we've got. I think it might show you in the menu. Uh, 1955. That's sweet. Okay. So, before we make our way back to the castle, which is what we're supposed to do, I'm going to do a couple of things. Now, this might be a good time to do some weapon upgrading. So, let's just talk to this guy and see what we've got for options here. All right, kid. Gobbit's the name. Professional blacksmith to the rich and famous. Hmm. Rich and famous in New Brightwater? Okay. You think they'd be at the castle? Yeah, let's have an item enchanted. All right. So, um, we can enhance the armor. Um, hmm. Now I'm trying to remember how I like to do this. So, we can do anti-venom. That's going to make you immune to poison. I have a couple reasons why I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to do any of these anti-weaken... Uh, Um, anti-slow. So I think weaken makes you more susceptible, or it makes you do less damage, and curse makes you receive more damage, something like that. Um, and then this is uh, immune to slow, so I'm not going to do those. I like actually getting the status effects, because later on we're going to have a way to not only cure them, but also cast the opposing effect on us as a benefit. So let's say you're poisoned, um, we're going to have an ability to not only cure the poison, but it's going to then give us regeneration. Or slow would be cured, and then it would give us uh, haste. So 
I actually like getting the status effects, and plus, this is just super expensive. So maybe if you just hate poison, yeah, you know what, go for it. Um, damage shield's interesting, though. Causes melee attackers to suffer damage every time they hit armor protected with this rune. I'm going to go ahead and put that on Tal, I think. That sounds nice. So while he's sitting there taking damage, we will be actually hurting the enemies, and he's going to take a lot of damage. So I want to see, can you also remove these? I don't think you can. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so then lastly, we can upgrade the swords as well. So these all share the same upgrade pool. So they're either going to have this square kind of upgrade uh, slot there, or a circle one, which we don't have any weapons right now that have that, but the square options are um, a very slight boost to damage, a very slight boost to critical, um, we can drain health, we can drain SP, and we can provide a 25% chance of dispelling enemies' beneficial magic with each strike. So. Um, I'm not gonna, right now, spend a lot of time worrying about upgrading his basic sword. Um, we're gonna be getting a lot of different swords for Talon, so we're probably not gonna use these for much longer. Um, Ailish, however, I think just for fun, let's give her one. So, um, I think it would be nice if this, uh, Shock Staff, it does a ton of damage. So let's maybe say, let's maybe say we want that to do even more and then maybe the royal scepter we um, oh yeah, I don't have a ton of money let's leave it let's just upgrade the shock staff for now so that's good um, cool so we got our upgrades done there um, so now if Tal actually takes a hit he is going to inflict damage back on enemies so we'll have to see if we can see that um, and the last thing I noticed I've got some more level ups to spend so Tal's got another point. Now, um, I was not a fan of Will of the Sword. I'm very rarely going to ever use that again. So let's see if we can give him another one. Let's give him... Let's give him... Blade Spark. That's pretty cool. Let's do it. And let's see how Elish is doing. Okay, so she hit her level 5, so she's got an extra point plus the 2 from 4 and 5, I think. Um, I'm probably going to regret if I don't get her some health, so let's do that straight away. Um, let's see, so, you know, we're still getting used to her moves, which is Kiss and Blaze Ball, so I'm going to leave that, but I am going to give her another skill, and then I'm going to give her another Essence, so her, um, magic actually does more damage. Or, her healing, which is Witch's Kiss, will be more effective, so, very good. Alright, let's roll. Hmm, I think we've done just about all there is to do in Brightwater for now. We will come back eventually um, for numerous reasons, but for now we're going to head out. And we're going to head through the beach, and uh, we're heading back to the castle, and there's some things to do along the way. You know what I might do, though? I might do a couple battles at the beach just for fun and see if I can get some more of those bright water pearls and I might fast forward those if they're not fun to watch so well I'm seldom allowed to travel alone but I'm not in the best of moods with Yemi in any case hmm. okay um yeah so I might do a few fights and I might fast forward Let's just see how it goes. Maybe see if I can get another level and then uh, see if I can get some more pearls here. Alright, definitely let's try out that new skill strike. So, Geyser Charge. No, not Geyser Charge. What did we get? Uh, Blade Spark, super cool. So this is kind of like Blaze Ball, it hits in a straight line. Nice, oh my god, wow. Now, I'm trying to remember what that move was again. Was it 1-2-1? One, one? 
That's the one I like. Oh, big damage. Nice, good job, Eilish. Dang. All right, so we saw Blade Spark there. Super cool. Yeah, let's just do one more fight just for fun. I don't think I got any bright water pearls there. Or you know what? Let's not do another fight. We're gonna have a chance to do some more. Um, so let's keep going, and a uh, couple things we can do here now. I'm gonna check this outhouse just quick. Is there anything going on here? Nope. Okay. Um, but this shack. Now you might remember there was that guy having his latte here, but he's gone. So let's actually send Alish inside that shack because I'm pretty sure they were saying there might be some stuff in there. Not much outside. It looks like they're just doing some work out here. Some uh, ocean work, you know, whatever you do. Okay. Athlo's Shack. Well, we don't know who that is, but that's okay. Now, this is a heck of a place. Wow, he's got a straight up tiger head there. He's got tea, a ton of pies. Oh, I see some fairies. And a little banjo. Well, you're going to have a banjo in a shack, let's be honest. Um, what else is going on around here? Oh, there's a little, uh, he's got little stools that are like a little, uh, bear totem or something. That's weird. I haven't even seen all this stuff. Yeah, he's obviously doing, like, woodwork here. He's got, like, drawings and carvings and things. So, they, you know, they put so much thought into this, like, who is this character? He's, you know, he's not even in the game. Athlos? I don't even know who that is. Doesn't matter at all. Um, Okay. So, a couple things. Well, number one, there's a treasure. And, oh my gosh, we got our first eagle totem. Crazy. Wow. Was there anything else? Hmm, why do I feel like I'm missing something here? What? Oh well, that's fine. Good deal. Well, you definitely want that eagle totem. Super, super, super important. So, we're going to hold on to that for a moment. Wait, now what the heck is this? There's a cat t playing with spiders. This is nuts. I've never seen that before. Oh, they're so creepy. I love how those little things move. This is nuts. I'm going to actually show you that there, that spider's in another place that we're coming up on. And I was going to say, I think that we're going to keep an eye out. We're going to count the spiders in this game because they're around. This I've never seen. All right. Well, that's good. I mean, I don't want to kill those spiders, right? You want to have that cat do it. Oh, yeah, you know, this is not a very good scarecrow. He's literally drawing in more crows. And they're sitting on him. He's not very scary. Athlos, you know, this guy, uh, you just leave your shack and look what happens, right? Alright, so we're going to head back towards the castle. Yeah, you can adjust the combat behavior of your AI, it says. Um, I don't know, let's just look at that. Um, let's see, is it in options? No. Um, where would that be? Hmm. I don't know. I think our monster compendium is getting filled out here, so you can get some information there. Um, I don't really care. Oh, it's in the it's in the quick menu. AI. Okay, so you can say you know attack, defend, retreat. It's gonna have everybody attack the whole game and pretend that doesn't exist. So let's keep going. All right, we got trouble right here in Farm County. Oh, it's these uh, scarecrows now. So weren't they talking about this and they said like you want to wait until they uh, do their attack and then get them? And so remember now, if they're hitting tall, he should be doing some damage. He doesn't seem to be doing much. Alright, so we upgraded this. It's doing a little bit more damage. That's good. It's certainly helpful. This 
one's after me, boy. Alright, we got something there. A potion? What is that just dropped? Healing ointment. Great. Another one. So we're gonna get so many healing items, I don't have any concern whatsoever. Ooh, sweet music. I feel like there's a jam session going on. Okay, so, let's look around a little bit. Now, this is a cemetery. We skipped this before. What's going on in here? Any more funny gravestones? You know, there sure are a lot of cemeteries in this game. There's one in Brightwater, and there's one here, and then there, we're going to find another one on the way back. Ooh, this is bad. You definitely shouldn't be breaking these in a cemetery, but we're going to do it. These might be, like, offerings people brought or something. Skill alignment, that's nice. Healing self. Ooh, all right. Well, hey, what's going on here now? What is this place? The tomb of Empress Tifon, Tifion, Ailish's grandmother. Her last words are inscribed. I will give my orb to a true heir of my throne with second sight. Is that what her move is called, second sight? Well, guess what? That's us. Oh, yep. Let's see. Oh, okay, I'm on the wrong side of the chest. There we go. Alright. Good job, Ailish. Alright, we got your inheritance, let's call it. Uh, very nice. Well, let's keep going. See, here's another cemetery, right? And it's humongous. Well, we can't get into that one. And there's like a wall of coffins. I mean, I know we're at war, but my god. Maybe if... You're probably out here burying people at the cemetery, and then that's more people are dying because we keep getting attacked out here. Hmm. Cemetery begets cemetery. And this is a field. A cute little field that's probably going to need to become a cemetery at this rate. And I think I see, like, the world's tiniest trees out there. And the world's tiniest fence. Is this meant to be like, okay, let's make it small so it looks like it's way more off in the distance? But it's really not. I mean, that fence is right by me. <laughs> uh, that's that's nice. Ugh, anyway, fun stuff. Um, yeah, this is like a little wood mill or something, maybe. That's nice. Okay, so we're coming up on possibly another battle here. Let's see. Yep. All right. You know what? We're going to give Tal's uh, ability a chance to shine. <laughs> no, we're not. I was going to use it against these bats. There's hardly any. Oh my god, I'm getting hurt pretty bad. All right, so Tal's getting hurt. Now, this is a good time to switch to Ailish because we are going to do her other attack. Or should I say her other skill? We're going to give him the old witch's kiss. You can't resist. Awesome. And that heals everyone in the party, and it's pretty nice. So we're essentially uh, exchanging her mana for health. All right. Get him, Tal. Or maybe they'll get you and get themselves. They are. Okay, he's taking a bunch of damage there. That was great. Good job, Tal. You badass. Alrighty. We got a bright water. We got a bright water pearl from a scarecrow. Well, that's weird. That's good. Okay, so not much up here. Some kind of mill, some kind of building. So, a couple of things. Uh, I don't think we can go in this place ever. So there should. Nothing at all. Um, but we can check over here, and you may notice. Uh, there's an outhouse, and it's got some moss behind it, so we're actually going to move this with Tal. But, we don't have any way to climb this moss right now, so keep that in mind. Let's see, what else is going on out here? Now over here, I think we've got some more treasures. This is why I wanted to explore later. We did go by this area before, but... It was dark and dreary, and uh, it's more fun to come get these now. 
So that is super helpful. 100 florins. We obviously uh, have a lot of expensive upgrades to get. Here's another one. All right, another hundred. Sweet. Good deal. I love how animated they are when they go up and down the ladders. It's very, very nice. And they all do something kind of different when they get to the top or the bottom or climb. Looks cool. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, get him. Blast him. Get him, Tal. Down you go. Is that another Brightwater Pearl? That'd be nice. Alright. Um, yeah, nothing here. I'm pretty sure we can't go in this building ever. Okay. Let's keep going. So yeah, you see that the battles kind of take place in these little gated areas, and usually entering a gate might trigger a battle, or leaving a gate, you know, means you're not going to get into one. All right, so this is obviously the uh, Honeycomb Central here. Um, and we actually have another small thing we can do. We have a secret well that only Ailish can dispel. And let's go see what's down in that well. I hope it's nothing super gruesome. Nope, and there's no water either. It's just a treasure. All right, Eagle Totem, and I heard somebody level up. Might have been Tal. He didn't even do anything. So what I'm going to do now is we have two Eagle Totems for Ailish, um, two out of the four total in the game. I'm going to actually head back to New Brightwater, and that's the direction of where her um, Eagle statue is. So I might fight a few battles along the way, uh, pick up some things, maybe level up, and I will meet you back at the Eagle statue. All right, bye. All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are back by that shack in Brightwater Beach. So you'll recall that just over here we have this eagle statue. So let's go ahead and talk to it and offer some totems. Four totems will unlock the ultimate weapon. Super cool. So we have the first two of four. Let's offer those. All right, we get an orb of might and an orb of vigor. No further totems. Very cool. So I'm doing those now just so we have those for stat improvements for Ailish. And I'm going to quick heal up a new Brightwater, head back to that well where I just left you off, and I'll see you next time on Let's Pete Sudeki. Bye for now.